We think that magnetic levitating trains are the future of transportation. After researching them, we decided to make our own maglev train and discovered that solenoids were much more effective than electromagnets. A solenoid is made by running an electric current through a copper coil, and you can reverse the polarity. By attaching it to a vehicle, like repels like and attracts to opposite, but stops when it's over it. By attaching a second solenoid, we can have continuous motion over an extended track. And by changing the timing of the solenoids, we can go backwards on the same track. But we discovered that with just the two solenoids, we didn't get enough power. So we placed three of them horizontally in between a second track and achieved a lot more power and continuity. Here you can see our levitation track and our levitation magnets are all the same polarity compared to our drive magnets, which alternate polarity. Here are our six solenoids with Hall effect sensors placed in between them. Hall effect sensors read the strength and polarity of the drive magnets on our track and send the information to the circuitry above. This circuitry is powered by a battery pack and controlled by an IR receiver on top of the car. Here our levitation magnets are placed inside the car so that they will repel the levitation magnets on top of our track. Our IR receiver is placed on the end of our car and we are ready to put it on our, on our track. Here you can see our levitation magnets on the car specifically line up with the levitation magnets on the track. As it moves forwards and backwards, you can see some bouncing, proving that there is, are no wheels attached to our car. Our solenoids line up specifically inside of the drive magnets in between our levitation magnets. And here our car is being driven by a remote control, forwards or backwards, fast or slow. Thank you.